Welcome back to another cooking video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple four cheese toasted bread. It's a very nice recipe to know how to make and a very simple recipe to execute. So here's how to do it. Let's go. All right, start off by taking a rustic loaf of bread like this and just slice it in half lengthwise, just like so. And I'm just going to cut a little bit more here. Okay, and once you've done that, you take one of the halves and just place it on a baking tray with a baking sheet. And then you wanna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on top, just like this. After you've done that, place it inside a preheated oven at 180 degrees C, that's 260 degrees Fahrenheit. And you just wanna bake it until it becomes a nice golden brown. It should take about six to seven minutes. This is a little quick fast forward of it. Okay, great. Once it's done, then you want to start layering your cheeses on top of it. Start with some Emmental cheese. I've got some thick, nice slices of that. And I'm going to place them spread out just like so. Then some freshly cut mozzarella. And I'm just going to place it evenly across just like this. I'm just going to add a little bit more just in between that gap there. Okay. And now you want to add a little bit of goat's cheese. Now this you want to put it in random spots so that you get little bursts of it. That's perfect. And once you've done that, you want to add grated Parmigiano cheese, just a little bit. Not so much of this, it's kind of strong, so you want to ease it and do it nice and softly. Okay, now you place it back in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. So the cheese melts, this is a nice quick fast forward of that. Looks great. Once it's done, you want to take some oregano and just sprinkle it across your bread just like this. Then you take a spoon and you want to make a little hole. And in this hole, you're going to add a little quail yolk, just like so. And then make another hole. I'm just going to make this one a little bit deeper. Okay. And you want to add your next quail yolk just in the other hole you just made. And then make another hole again for another quail yolk. There we go. Just add that and one more. Why not? Ah, that one just popped. Oh, well. Uh, now you want to add some chips. And this just gives the dish some height and makes it look a bit more interesting. Plus, who doesn't enjoy chips? So, just put them in nice little random spots, digging them deep into the cheese so that they stay in place. Just like this. Okay, I think one more just at the end. Okay, great. Now you want to place it back in the oven for two to three minutes just to cook the quail egg yolks so that they become just right. And once that's done, then you can enjoy this delicious four cheese bread. Okay, so just to enjoy, just cut it. I'm just gonna give it a little tester here, see what's what. Just amazing, nice and cheesy and eggy, great. Okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys next week, goodbye.